someone like St. Augustine has been such a major figure in the history of Christian thought, especially in Western Christianity, less so, of course, than in the East. And I think Augustine is certainly a mystic. There were many uh, debates over that when, uh, in earlier years when there was a very narrow understanding of mystics as visionaries and mir miracle workers, etc. But if you look at Augustine's teaching and his life experience, his life experience is found in his confessions, and his teaching is found, for example, in his uh, sermons on the Psalms, you'll find a very deep mystical teaching. Uh, and Augustine's thought, of course, is really central to the whole evolution of, uh, of Christian theology today. So many of the great teachers have been uh, uh, mystics. Think of St. Bonaventure, the Franciscan uh, a doctor of theology, who's such an important theologian, but he's also a great mystical author. And when he writes, you know, the mind's journey into God, etc., or uh, other mystical works. So not every theologian is necessarily a mystical author, but many of the greatest theologians and most influential theologians have indeed also been, also been mystics.